Hi, Veda. How are you feeling? Very excited. Also, today, free practice. Check it. Kelasemen ke-8 Veda Ega Pratama akui bikin kesalahan di Mugello. Veda Ega Pratama terus berjuang untuk meraih podium di kejuaraan Red Bull Rookies Cup 2024. Pembalap asal Gunung Kidul itu menunjukkan penampilan yang begitu impresif di sirkuit Mugello, Italia. Pada race 1, Veda beberapa kali memimpin jalannya balapan. Namun, lap terakhir ia tersenggol pembalap lain sehingga posisinya melorot sampai di urutan ke-10. Veda finish di posisi kelima pada akhirnya, sementara di race 2 penampilan Veda juga cukup bagus. Namun, persaingan kali ini lebih ketat karena rombongan terdepan diisi lebih banyak pembalap. Pembalap bindaan Astra Honda Racing Team itu harus puas di posisi ke-8. Saya membuat kesalahan saat balapan, saya bisa bertarung tapi hasilnya tidak bagus untuk saya. Saya akan berusaha tampil lebih baik di babak berikutnya, jelas Veda Ega Pratama dilansir dari Red Bull. Com. Dengan raihan 19 poin dari Italia, Veda saat ini berada di posisi ke-8 klasemen sementara dengan 39 poin. Putaran selanjutnya akan berlangsung di Asen, Belanda dan semoga Veda meraih podium pertamanya nanti. Hasil race kedua seri ketiga Mugello. Veda Ega Pratama tunjukkan kelasnya di Red Bull Rookies Cup Italia. Luar biasa aksi yang ditampilkan oleh Veda Ega Pratama pada race Red Bull Moto GP Rookies Cup putaran ketiga yang berlangsung di sirkuit Mugello, Italia pembalap asal Gunung Kidul, Yogyakarta itu. Di race kedua berhasil finish ke urutan 8, yang sebelumnya di race ke-1 finish di posisi kelima. Memang belum podium, namun penampilan Veda layak diacungi jempol. Sepanjang balapan Veda selalu berada di rombongan terdepan. Dan bahkan beberapa kali ia memimpin jalannya perlombaan. Ia yang memiliki peluang juara pada balapan kali ini mengatakan, kurang beruntung, setelah tersenggol pembalap lain yang membuatnya melebar dan terlempar ke posisi ke-10 pada tikungan pertama lap. Terakhir saat ia sedang memimpin balapan untuk meraih kemenangan perdananya. Di sisa balapan, Veda yang tampil impresif selama balapan tak menyerah hingga kemudian posisi kelima ia amankan untuk meraih poin yang merupakan torehan tertingginya sejauh ini. Ada insiden di lap terakhir, yang mana pembalap crash yang hampir menabrak Veda Ega Pratama, Veda menjawab. Saya senang dengan balapan hari ini, namun saya kurang beruntung, kata Veda, dilansir dari laman resmi Red Bull Roo Cup. Di tikungan pertama pada lap terakhir, seseorang menabrak saya dan saya terdorong keluar, namun saya beruntung karena tidak terjatuh, lanjutnya. Saya berusaha keras di lap terakhir itu dan finish di posisi ke-8, jadi saya senang dengan itu, tambahnya di race kedua ini. Pembalap asal Gunung Kidul, daerah istimewa Yogyakarta, Deye, itu mengatakan setelan motornya masih belum sempurna pada balapan kali ini. Motornya tidak terlalu sempurna tapi itu bukan masalah besar bagi saya dan saya terus belajar, belajar dari para pembalap papan atas, tutupnya. as well the indonesia but look at that ruche moody the 11 coming through in sony now out front a real beneficiary of the slipstream and that just shows how big slipstream about four bike slipstream and then they all fan out across the track about five abreast there on the brakes absolutely sensational stuff but it is the valentine peroni the argentine who has the advantage over kies ruche moody ruche moody missed this round after a ankle injury for suffer from another series maximo kies went underneath him so it is the 28 of kies and the 83 of Alvaro Cup. Looking down the order then, Hakim Danish, he started in sixth place, been pushed down. A uh, superb FP2 from him, saw him in fifth place overall. And what is 53 of Valentin Peroni comes underneath there. Alvaro Carpe to get right on his tail as they flick, breaking for the final drop-down left-hander.
actually running some pretty slow pace in comparison to qualifying at the moment. I do wonder why a 201.2. Uh, Giulio Pugliese in 12th place. That is sensational, isn't it? What a pack. Incredible stuff. The 28 time away from the start finish straight. Alvaro Carpa in second place. Rusche Moodley a strong looking third place. Leonardo, he is in sixth place now. He's taken the lead, to, uh, uh, taken a few places up towards the final gap back to Christian Daniel, the American, and another group as well. And it's still Maximo Kears on the 28 who leads ahead of Alvaro Carpe. And uh, the African helmet looking for a way past. He got his one of his first rookies podiums here last year in the wet weather conditions. Third ten laps, soon it'll be nine laps remaining. Still plenty of action left in this race. Maximo Kiez has the advantage of over oh, 51 is Brian Uriarte. Max Kiles. Oh yes. Up, up. Indeed. So what do you think? Yeah, as you say, you know, it's not particularly fast paced. Are they all guys high here at Magello, isn't there? So fast and flowing. Uh, you don't want to burn it up. So mm. what happened? That was ridiculously beyond track that's limits. That's right. If you're going to use. Um, yeah, that's right. And, then, and as I say, Kiez was on his own. And I think, you know, he was planning to, to be able to run away. It just isn't working out for him because he isn't getting away. Up into second place comes Brian Uriarte. That was uh, Ruche Moodley and Valentin Peroni. Sweeping through that right again. You know, they're up through the gears here they get up fifth gear before breaking hard and back into second as they go into the beginning waiting out of it up into fourth went to your miles an hour they're slipstream across the start and finish line it's a season it's 51 who has the advantage brian uriarte but who's the latest on the brakes at the inside of Uriarte then very cleanly done indeed that was classic Magello then across us of the late breakers sensational absolutely superb so absolutely 50 there Carter Thompson using all the road and uh, a good deal of the rip still build into an even bigger battle for the lead this is exactly what Carter Thompson needs to be doing he lines up seconds off the lead is doing him very very well indeed so Maximo Kia still has the advantage Beata one and two and there we go Kiles using it completely to his advantage and overtake classic turns Arabiata one and two right you gain such an advantage especially if you're picking up the slipstream Pratanar Zani up into fifth that's I think the highest we've seen him quite often see him in the opening laps fighting up towards the front but normally about this time he's uh, moving back in Le Mans he finished in seventh place so Ricardo, that was sensational what he did that day anyway they fan out across the track who's going to be last on the brakes this is the slowest part of the course and then climb the hill on the way out and it is the 54 of Vader Patama who has the advantage Brilliant stuff then, so bigging him up, and there he goes, straight through in towards the 28, is off on the green, Max Kiaz. I wouldn't be surprised to find him get a warning very shortly, unfortunately. Here, back with the leaders, whoa, it is the 54 of Vader Pratama, wow. back in front again. Three abreast into Ireland of this beautiful ribbon of asphalt, and it's still Pratama leading the way. I'm not sure what adjective I can use from a praying mantis, but hey, it's something new in Rookie's Cup. And it's Shut it. Drop that second group, have they either? It still is, you know, Carter Thompson and Co. Um, and that's about what they're running now, so the pace is getting better and better. And the guys know they're going to go after him. There we are, the Spanish lock tree. Off they go then, three winners so far this season. Quiles goes for the dive into San Donato. We have the new bees on the inside of that turn. For the win. I'm absolutely buzzing for it, Peter. Here we go. Six laps to go. Now, and it's starting to heat up. Oh, no, come back from... Ooh, oh, we've, 57. Got, we've got to blow up. Len Len That's Zani. Zani. Yeah, off the track, please. Yeah. Get that. off. <laughs> Thank you. For the podium here. Disaster for the Italian. Anyway, but only just from the 83 of Alvaro Carpe, the 54 of Biding his time. He does this a lot now. He's been a very, very impressive. Riate will eclipse his form a little bit with that win last time out. And the Batama. Ooh, who are we looking forward from? Is that Kiles? I think it is towards Alvaro Carpe. Yeah, it was. Carpe shuts the door, but Moodley has moved up into third. It's pretty hurt. Uh, Chasing this group, you've got nine seconds further back from them. You've got Kevin Farkas who crossed the line in 12. It is, and da Danish, as he said, he was looking to improve. He said, I can go faster from his with these guys. 
Wow, he had uh, Vader Pratama. Really clips him. Pratama did not see him there, that's for sure, but he backed out all safely through his keen crucial. <laughs> no, that's right, onto the red, and that's just about OK. That's You're coming back to second. Wow, that's Rookie's Cup at its best, just closing in. Final corner then. Carpe runs it wide, now turns up the win. 51 leads the match.